good to meet you, and I, I, I hope, well, I hope I've set your mind at rest. Yeah, it's been good to meet you, too. Well, uh, see you, and, uh... Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, uh, again. <laughs> Take care. See you later. I don't know what it is, but when he opens his mouth, I just want to punch him. Gary. What? Your 16-year-old daughter's dating a middle-aged man and you're fine with it. It's not middle-aged, and of course I'm not fine with it. Well, from where I was saying it looked that way. Right, I don't want to lose her, so what do you expect Sarah, to are you do? seriously telling me that it's normal for a guy like that to be dating a kid? Because it wasn't so long ago that you were thinking something totally different when you thought that I was after Bethany, and you'd have been right. All right, again, I'm asking you, because I don't want to alienate her, so what do I do? Something. We should have done no, something. No, Gary, there's no we. I'm the parent. I'm the one that's got to make decisions about my child. You know something? It's not always easy. OK, well, good luck with that, yeah? Let's just hope you don't live to regret this. Where are you going? Do you want a drink? No, you're all right. <sighs> Don't be like that. Come on. That's a bribe David to babysit so I can come out. I'm not being like anything. You were right. Oh, you deal with Bethany? None of my business. Look, I know that you have her best interests at heart, and that is really sweet. And I also know that you're right about him and her. Right, well, that's something, I suppose. Oh, look, of course I don't want to go in out with someone like him. If I'm honest, I'd rather she not go out with anyone until she's, like, 25, 30. You can see how much she likes him, though. And the thing is, with everything that's happened over this last year with the bullying, you know, everything else, someone like Nathan wanting to go out with her, that is an ego boost. She's not mm. going to want to give that up. So what you're saying is a, it's a waiting game. Believe me, if I tell Bethany that she can't see him anymore, then that is just going to make her even more determined to carry on. Because I know what I was like when I was her age. Oh, I just don't want to lose her, Gary. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. You know, at least if they're under my roof, then I know where she is and what she's up to. I just want to be a good mum, that's all. Yeah, hey, you are a good mum. Okay. Although, persuading her to bring him back to our madhouse again is going to be a tough one. Hiya. Oh, uh, by the way, David said thanks for using the milk. He's gone to bed. Ugh. Never mind, David. Oh, and also, Mum, um, thanks for being so cool with... Uh... Well, I should have told you that he was older. That much older. Mm. Yeah, you should. I was that close to dishing up turkey dinosaurs for tea. Oh, well embarrassing. Anyway, thank you. Yeah, well, you might have something else to thank me for. Well, it's, um, it's Gary's idea, actually. What was? We are going to look for a place together. Seriously? Uh -huh. Three bedrooms, so a room for Harry and Jake when he comes to stay, and then that means you can have a room of your own, so somewhere to listen to music, you can do your homework in peace, and it means if... Nathan comes to stay the night you've got somewhere to stay. Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. So we're moving in together. Of course, yeah. I'm really happy for you. And I can come round and help whenever you need me, OK? And I'll still see Jake all the time. I know you will. You'll have to tell me what his favourite tea is. Why? I could cook it for him, maybe. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, he's saying it's uh, mud pies and worms at the moment. Yeah, Bethany was obsessed with snails when she was his age. Oh, I bet it's all makeup and boys now, though, eh? Yeah. Right, anyway, i uh, best get going before Sean eats all the best biscuits. <laughs> See ya. Wish it was boys. Mm. Don't. Right. Uh, right, I'm gonna go and get ready. Thanks, bye. Where's she off? What do you think? 